Hi, this is CJ, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to get rid of this problem where in Windows 10, the Microsoft Edge browser assumes itself the role to open uh, the PDF file. So it becomes a default application for the PDF files, the Adobe Acrobat files. So I installed Windows 10 on my PC about a month back. Uh, finally did it because, uh, you know, it was about to end, the, the free upgrade was about to come to an end. So I installed it and the very first thing which I noticed was the fact that Microsoft Edge browser was uh, trying to become the default application for Windows uh, for the PDF files. So there are other different options in order to be able to make Adobe Acrobat the default player by going here. So this is the notification bar. You can go to all settings. You can go to uh, system default application and you can choose or you can choose here or you can click here uh, you can click yep and you, here you can search you can scroll down it takes a bit of a time because you've got a lot of files a lot of uh, extensions out here so you can scroll down until you get to PDF all of them are aligned alphabetically so dot pdf pdf all right so even if i i did i did this thing a um, couple of days back but i'm pretty sure that it would gonna reset itself back to internet explorer or sorry microsoft edge this one this guy right so in order to be able to fix this problem for good we need to do something known as a registry hack now this is not a hacking thing. It's just it just said like that because uh, we do we as normal users or general users of the computer do not try to tinker with the registry editor or the file or the the keys in the registry. But in order to be able to fix this problem, we'll have to do it. All right, because otherwise, uh, Internet Explorer Edge or the Edge browser will reset itself or reset the setting that you have just done or become or uh, reclaim its right to become the default player or default application for the Adobe Acrobat after two to three days down the line, right? So I've done that thing and uh, this, is, this is something which happened on my laptop as well, which came pre-installed with uh, Windows 10. And I was, it was very frustrating to, to keep, talk, keep making um, one application the default player, all right? So in order to fix this problem for good, we have to open the registry editor. Now, I'm using the start eight uh, start button out here, which, which will be quite different uh, than what you have on your screen. Not a problem. So what you can do is you can press and hold the Windows key and then press R. So press and hold the Windows key on a keyboard and then press R. R as in Robert. This will open run. All right. You don't have to click anyway. You just have to press Windows plus R. So hold on the Windows key and then R and type reg edit. R E G E D I T. Register registry editor. All right. So this can maximize it. Now it has got five, six hives. So right off the bat, I would like to give a disclaimer that if something goes wrong with the computer, do not blame me. N and I'm going to tell you, I can guarantee you that nothing, absolutely nothing will go wrong in your computer if you follow the guidelines which I am going to give you in this particular video. So since we do not uh, go about editing the registry uh, on a daily basis, so it's important to take the backup of the registry for the entire registry. So you can click on file, click on export and do not select this thing select all and give a name backup backup or, or you can just give it a good name registry backup all right it's going to save a file onto the desktop and click on save this usually takes about a minute or two depending upon um, uh, the speed of the computer and the amount and, and the size of the file would be about 400 megabytes this file can safely be deleted once we have ensured that we have not 
made any untoward changes to the registry. So this is how it going to look like. Do not need to double click on this thing. It's just a backup of the file. Let's right click and see what is the size of the registry backup. It's 346 megabytes in size. Okay. So now that we are here, so we're going to be, uh, you can expand this a little bit. We need to drill down to the specific registry key which talks about Adobe Acrobat. All right. So you need to, and this particular setting has to be done for all the, for uh, this can be done only for a single user. So for example, if you're the only user of this computer, then you're fine. Otherwise, for every user, you have to do the settings. If it's a multi-user computer that you have got. So I only have, I'm the, I'm the only user of this computer, so it's good for me. So you have to go to H key current user. Okay. You can click on this and then you can scroll down to software all right and then you can scroll down to classes you can also check at the bottom as to where you are currently so if I click on classes it'll say classes all right so from here you need to go to local settings you need to scroll down It'll gonna come after all the entries starting with dots have finished. So now it's gonna come down alphabetically. So scroll down, scroll down. It's gonna be before local settings. Yep, there you are. Local settings and again software. Right. So you click on here, and then you can see once again that we are at software. Do not make any other changes apart from what is being told or what I will tell you in this video. Okay. So in the software, go to Microsoft, expand this as well. One left click, then go to Windows, Windows current version and uh, app model. And then we have to go to the repositories or the repository. You can scroll. <coughs> All right. Now we have to go to packages and you can scroll it a little bit in order to see, or you can also, you know, expand it a little bit. All right. Okay. Now this is going to be a criti critical part. So we are currently at the software and we haven't clicked on the next package. So we are currently at the packages and now we have to look for we have to be very careful out here. We have to look for Microsoft Edge. Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge underscore 25. So you can see that Microsoft. There's one word. Microsoft. It's not Microsoft. Uh, okay. Um, let me see. Yeah. It's got. It's Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge underscore 25 dot 10586 dot 0 dot 0 neutral. All right. Okay. So you need to go back here and then expand it here. All right. Expand Microsoft Edge. Expand the capabilities. The and finally click on the file association. So this is the exact path. Computer, H key current con current user. Software, classes, local settings, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, app model, repository, packages, Microsoft.Microsoft H, and Microsoft Edge capabilities and file association. All right. So as you can see that there is a, a .pdf out here. Okay. So you, you have to double click on this .pdf and copy this value here. Don't make any changes, just copy the value. Right, cl right click, copy. Right click, copy. Open a notepad. Uh, you can open a notepad. Right click and paste it. All right, so once you have got this thing done, you need to back out. You need to get out of this place. Cancel it. You may want to collapse these hives. And then we're going to go to, you can always, you can go all the way up, 
by collapsing each of these folders. Okay, then you can collapse classes, collapse the software and the current user. So we are back at the top. Top of the hive is this is, these are no, these are known as uh, five hives. Okay, now we're gonna expand the HK user again. So let's do that. So HK current users, and then software, and then we're gonna class classes, and now we will see. Now, uh, okay, keep this in mind. We need to figure out where a folder with this name is going to be in the hive so we can put this on the right and see so appxd4 appxd4 x4 i think it's going to come after the numbers appxd4 is this the one let's check that out appxd4 n R Z eight F F is yep, that's the one. Okay, so you have that thing. You don't need to expand this. You don't need to expand this. You just need to click on this, and on the right side, as you can see, there are no values. You don't need to delete this thing. Just right click and click new. Click on the string value. Give it a name. And this is not something which you can uh, think, uh, which, which you can give. Uh, which you need to give a specific name to this string value. The name is N O No Open Width. All right. So click, or you can click Enter. Now we have created this file, <coughs> and that is the end of this particular <laughs> issue so now we have created what is going to tell uh, no open width is going to tell in an ex uh, the the edge browser is to not open uh, not make itself as the default application for the pdf file and let adobe acrobat do the talking all right so now we have to exit from this all right and you can close it I haven't made any change I just copied this file by drilling down in the hive and uh, creating and and then finding this this thing in the um, HK current user and creating a string value with the uh, with the name no open with right so y if you get lost in this particular video watch it again now you can safely delete this file. I'm going to delete it because I haven't made any other changes. So, so if you think that you have made any changes, you can just double click the file and your registry would reset itself back to the point uh, where we started editing it or right before the, you start watching this video. Okay, so you click on, I, I can just right click and delete it. And that is the end of it. So if you make Adobe Acrobat your default player now, Internet Explorer or the uh, Microsoft Edge would not reset the settings. It would not do it. It would not become the default player again. All right. Thanks for watching this video.